Even as the search for more remains continued, one key question had yet to be fully answered by the project's geologist. Exactly how old were these fossils? This arty skeleton was so ancient, its fossilized bones no longer contained any material useful for dating. We don't really date the bones themselves, so we re rely on geologists to give us dates for these rocks that are above and below the, the, the fossils that we're finding. But not just any rocks would do. For millions of years, the fractured crust beneath Africa's Great Rift Valley has produced volcanoes. Ash layers and lava flows from more recent eruptions cover the rift floor today, just as they covered the ancient landscapes long ago. The geologist can identify and trace each layer of ash through its own unique geochemical fingerprint. At Aramis, they got lucky. Instead of the fossils just lying near a single volcanic layer, they were actually sandwiched between two layers of ash. It was a nice coincidence to have those two volcanic rocks bracketing that sedimentary sequence. And so I collected several samples from that area for dating. Dr. Gede Walde Gabriel analyzes the Aramis samples at Los Alamos National Laboratory. First, he pulverizes and refines them. Next, he separates and extracts tiny crystals and shards of volcanic glass. This material contains trace amounts of argon gas produced by radioactive decay. The gas has gradually built up inside the rock ever since the eruption. Walter Gabriel now sends the process samples to Dr. Paul Rennie at the Berkeley Geochronology Center. Hey, Paul. these samples are ready. Oh, from the middle of wash? Yeah, I just okay. looked at them and they, they look great. Rennie uses a laser to melt the ancient volcanic glass and crystal fragments. This releases the built-up argon gas. By measuring the amount of gas, Rennie can determine the sample's age. The more argon gas, the older the rock sample is. His results date the Aramis fossils more precisely than anyone expected. We cannot tell the difference in age between the unit that's above the Ramidas fossils and the unit that's below. So in each case, we get an age of 4.4 million years. And those two results are analytically indistinguishable. At 4.4 million years old, the fossil hominid skeleton found at Aramis is the earliest ever discovered. Discovering Artie, Sunday at 9 only on Discovery.